close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep, in and out breaths. And watch your breathing. Watch the breath as it comes in. Watch it as it goes out. You don't have to think about anything else right now. Just stay right here. When you stay right here, you're developing good qualities in the mind. You're being alert. You're being mindful. This is how we find true happiness. And when everyone says, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, well, how do you find happiness? It doesn't come floating your way, and it doesn't come by grabbing everything you want. It comes by developing good qualities in the mind, and which come out in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. As the Buddha said, there are three things that constitute the source for true happiness. One is that you're generous, the second is you're virtuous, and the third is that you develop good qualities in the mind. So right now we're developing good qualities trying to be as alert and mindful as possible right here, right now. Because whatever you do in life, you have to be alert, you have to be mindful in order to do it well. Otherwise it gets done shoddily. And if your actions are shoddy, then the happiness you're going to get from your actions is shoddy as well. So try to be as on top of the breath right here, right now, and then develop that habit so that whatever you're doing, you're right on top of what you're doing. You know what should be done, and you make sure that watch that you do it. This way you, you develop the sources for happiness inside, and then they come out in your words and your deeds, like generosity. Sometimes we wonder, well, what kind of happiness is there in generosity? You're giving things away. Well, it's precisely you're giving something away. You're affirming the fact that you're a human being who's not just driven around by your, your thirsts and your hungers. You realize that you have more than enough, and you're happy to share. That creates a very spacious space of mind. If you can't give things away, then your mind gets very, very narrow. And no matter what you might have in that narrow space, it's never really comfortable. So generosity, and then there's virtue. Virtue is when you decide that you're going to refrain from harm. The five precepts we took just now, the Buddha said the most important one is the one against lying. Because if you misrepresent the truth, you can delude a lot of people for a long, long time. And if they ever catch that you've deluded them, they're never going to trust you anymore. So you really do want to develop a sense of being truthful. Whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth, make sure that it's a true report of things. Now that, of course, means there are some times when you have to discuss a topic that you'd rather avoid. Okay, how do you get around it without lying? That challenges your discernment. So in these ways, you develop the sources for true happiness, because you look at yourself and you realize, okay, you are a human being with dignity, you're a human being with principles. And that right there is a source of a kind of happiness that you can't buy. There's so many things that we do in the world. If you make mistakes, and, and if you know that you've harmed somebody, if you intentionally harm them, that's a, that's a hard thing to remember. You don't like remembering that kind of thing, and you'd give any amount of money to forget it. Well, here you don't have to pay that money because you don't do the harm to begin with. You make the result that whatever you do or say or think, it's not going to be for anybody's harm. That's a source of well-being inside that people tend to overlook. So if you're looking for a happy new year, make sure that you're developing the causes for happiness. You're developing the mind, you're being virtuous, and you're being generous. In these ways, the, the, you're sure to be happy. It doesn't matter so much what comes at you from outside, it's what's coming from within the mind itself. That's what determines what happiness is. So you can be in charge and make sure that it's up to you to decide whether this is going to be a happy year or not, and make the decision that you're going to make it truly happy. That way it's a gift to yourself and a gift to the people around you. <laughs>